Well, as we all know, Easter is the holiday that symbolizes new life. And that's what recently happened to a sweet 14-year-old boy named John Smith, who fell through a frozen lake near St. Louis. He was officially dead for more than one hour. But 16 days later, John walked out of the hospital completely healed. So was this a modern day miracle? Squire Rushnell, who's known as the Godwink guy and author of Divine Alignment is back with us. So what do you think Squire, miracle? Oh, I think this was a major miracle. As a matter of fact, I've got a list of 10 confirmations of miracles and God winks in this story, okay? Right, you kick I'll it off. Count me down, okay, number one, fire Captain uh, Justin Darnell gets the call and he's on his way to the scene where the boy has fallen into the water. He thinks, how ironic. Two days before, something compelled him to call an ice rescue training that they hadn't done in more than a year. Number two, first responder Tommy Shine. He gets on the ice. He's got a pole. He knows the water is 50 feet deep, except in some places where it's 10 feet deep. Something compels him to put the pole in in this one spot. It's the 10 foot spot and he hooks the body of the boy and pulls him up. Number three came from the Lake St. Louis Fire Chief Michael Marlowe. In 38 years, he'd never experienced such divine intervention, he said. That's right. And number four, the mother is Joyce Smith. She's looking in the hospital at her comatose boy, all gray. Uh, Kent Sutterer, the doctor, the ER doctor, has just told her that he's worked on the boy for 25 minutes with no pulse. She comes up to the boy and she says, Holy Spirit, give me back my son. And instantly, somebody in the operating room said, we got a pulse. And number five, Dr. Sutterer called it miraculous, later writing that the boy's heart was kick-started by a praying mother calling upon the Holy Spirit. Oh boy, yeah. Number six, the boy was then airlifted to another hospital. Jason Noble, the family pastor, shows up. He's told that the boy is uh, no brain uh, activity and uh, chances are slim. He and five other pastors gather around the bed and they pray for the boy. They pray that the, that the brain and the lungs be healed. He sees a ring of light around the boy's head, two angels in the back of the room, and right after that, the boy squeezes his hand, opens his eyes, and lifts up from the table. Number seven, Dr. Jeremy Garrett, pediatric doctor of the year, by the way. He led this medical team. He said this is a miraculous story. Miraculous. The father is number eight, Brian, who says the miracle is really the church that prayed for this boy and that his son, 16 days after he was dead for an hour, walked out of the hospital on his own power. Number nine would be that he has no brain damage and no lung infection, miraculously. Right. And number 10. And number 10. Think about this. It's almost three o'clock. At this time, this three o'clock, 2,000 years ago, Christ died on the cross. Three days later, he rose from the dead. In St. Louis this weekend, there will be a 14-year-old boy who can say that he rose from the dead and he lived to tell about it. It's always great to have you on the show, Squire Rushnell, with your Easter God wink. And you can find out more on his Facebook page Thank and mine you. as well. Yes. Happy Easter. Thank you. Happy Easter to you.